All right, hey guys, so we're gonna go over a little bit of uh, kind of some blues exercises and helping to break down some of what's uh, in the video we watched there. So um, uh, it is a typical kind of blues and C cycle and our left hand has this uh, fifth to sixth thing where our, our thumb is doing most of the work there. Um, we're familiar with that, so I'll, I'll just kind of run through that one time. So it's the, this whole deal. And, uh, that's gonna be the basis for most of our exercises. Um, of course, once it gets into the cycle, Double this up. I cut a little early there, but cool. So that's the, the general vibe of kind of what, what he's uh, got going on, at least for the first part. And then um, for most of the, the phrases, you know, uh, let's get them right. Um, that kind of stuff. He's definitely chasing down like a, a mixolydian scale. So, you know, um, I would certainly, you know, maybe try um, a little bit of, of this action if you want to either play a C7 chord. Uh, we do it here. And then maybe arpeggiate the chord up here also. That's going to be kind of the basis of our um, exercises here. So C7, C, E, G, B flat, and I would add the C on top. All right, and then we've got... Um, F mixolydian. All right. And then a G mixolydian, easy one. This guy's there. So, um, first step, just kind of make, make sure you got all those and know all those seven chords. I'm pretty sure you do. Um, so, we've got them. So, rhythmically, um, he's starting out. If we're thinking this is one and two and three and four and that's his first line there. So mostly quarter notes. Um, if we're going like one every two notes, so basically every time we hit that fifth there, and then um, the fastest he gets, at least in these first couple, uh, first go round of the changes, is, is eighth notes. So those will go right together. You know, one and two. So let's take some exercises before we get into exactly what he's playing and uh, just kind of build that rhythmic um, ability, I guess, uh, just coordination wise. So most of these I would I would just hover on the C. And um, the easiest of these is, is, would just be going um, chord notes first and then eighth notes with, with just Cs. And I'm not the most exciting, but I'll give an example here. So we get a click going. So chord notes. Again, not the world's most exciting thing, but uh, it'll you know get get you started. So um, from there, I would go ahead and take just the, the the broken C7 going up and back down, and I'm just doing all the fingers there, you know. Um, and same deal. I would do chord notes first, so every two. And then, um, you know, there is some swing involved, so I, th I think having a, a metronome is going to be good, but it is, probably won't help you swing that that hard. But um, so a little bit with, a little bit without, but um, okay. So that's the, the first thing, and of course, I would I would repeat that, you know, with the other the other chords as well. I'll just run through those real quick. So chord notes first. Oh, sorry, let's do the same exercise.
Cool. So if you get through around on all those, you're pretty much equipped to, to take on most of the um, uh, the lines here. So let's let's look at the actual phrases. Um, again, I, I don't think, uh, having looked at at least this first chorus, there's only one instance where he's using this, uh, excuse me, the G flat um, on the break there. Something like that. So um, for the, the most of it, I, I would say he, he's dealing with the Mixolydian. He's got a lot of A naturals in there, which is kind of giveaway for that too. And um, a lot of these times he's just breaking the, the chord up, um, kind of similar to what we did in the in the, um, uh, the, the exercises there. So let's, let's look at this first phrase. Um, again, it's, it's based around C7. So I always like to give him some chord down there. That's the first one he does. So um, again, you can clearly see the, if you hold those notes down, there's a little passing tone here on the A. You take that out. That's that's C7. Just happens to have the the E in there, and then it comes back down there, and then ends by arpeggiating the chord. So very much just C mixolydian. That's that's all the line is. But I think the coordination with the left hand makes it cool. Um, we got one chord notes first, and then he goes in eighth notes here, and that C does hit. I guess would that be like a sixteenth note? Uh, one and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Yeah, it's like a sixteenth note, but you know, we can get it. Um, so let, let me break that down. So together, 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 together in between. There you go. So um, again, let's let's throw that with a little bit of metronome on on it there. A little faster. So, um, ready, go. Cool. And again, it doesn't have to be that fast to, to start, but that's 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 the that's the run of the, that first one. Uh, let's get the second one. Let me hear it real quick, sorry. Okay, so again, um, so again, starting with those chord notes. Um, so that part's a little tricky, but so that. So you've got a couple. Those those are a little faster, but so together in between. Doesn't sound weird slow, but um. Cool. Let's do that all steady here. Okay, so let's look that around a couple times. Cool, let's try to put those two two lines together. So Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Alright, and then of course we're going to the four chord. Um, and I'll I'll find the rhythm here in a second, but the same same thing with the notes. Right, it's that same F7. This one's even clearer because it's got the, you know, the, the root on the bottom, and that that sixth scale tone is just a passing tone. All right, so really built out of that that mixolydian, but just jumping down the, the scale tones. Let's hear him play it, and we'll see if we catch the rhythm. All right, so we got. Let's try again. So that F is long. So let's try another couple. Of... Sorry, let's slow it down a little more. Cool, and then of course we're going back. 
back to the C. All right, so that's got a little triplet of it. Uh, sorry, I wrote it out weird. Something along those lines. Same deal, just C7 with that extra six in there. Same deal, just the G7, so. So that B's kind of landed in between. Sorry. And then, um, okay, so again, just the, the same patterns there. That's that's really nothing but, but G7 there. There, I think he's he's targeting that six, but and then he doubles that up. So same thing, just go down the chord, double double notes. Okay, he's got that break. Let's find out. Okay. He's gonna break on that, you know. So let's let's take a look at that. So sorry. So if you're gonna do that break, which is nice, we gotta know to come back on on that F. I'll just practice that. So I, I would, um, you know, try to cop some of these licks, like note, note for note. Um, you don't have to, you know, if you miss a note here or there, but like the, the idea is, is really the important thing, but there's some good rhythm. Um, it just the way it's, it's all sitting with the left hand and like getting that coordination that we're, that we're looking for. Um, I think these, these are accessible and, and, um, we can get them, but they'll, they'll help kind of push us down that path. Um, you could easily take the ideas he's doing and improvise too. Um, and we'll dig into subsequent courses too, but, um, so let me, let me try around where I'll, I'll just try to mimic what he's doing. I'm, I'm going to do the same, uh, mix later. I'll try to talk it out. So I'm going to go. All right. And break up the F7. cool thing is he really kind of saves that blue that blue scale that flat five for for the break and I, I keep breaking early just out of habit but um you know you, I've got all these kind of clean mixolydian things uh, so it gets a little bite right right when it matters um it's, it's kind of a cool cool thing so again, C blues just kind of stretching some of our um, coordination about it. It's a really familiar form. So, um, you know, have some fun with that. Let me know if you have any questions and hopefully that helps. Um, I'll see you next time.